The Lincoln County Fair will be showcasing their livestock this coming Monday. Joining me now are Tayton Lucas and Josie Wilson. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having us. Of course. So how are things going at the fair? Besides it being really hot, I can't even imagine what it's like being in those pens. Oh, it's fun. There's a lot of activities around there and keeps us pretty busy with the animals and fun to see all your friends around. You have for you, Josie, I know you mentioned um, that <laughs> that you have goats to take care of after yes. this segment. We'll have the goat show today and the sheep show. Um, tomorrow will be the pig show, Saturday the beef show, and then Monday will be the sale. Wow. How do you guys stay safe in this weather? A lot of water and big thing is taking care of our animals and making sure they're comfortable and taken care of. It's a big thing that we try to stay on top of. I know for us, like we check our animals every 30 minutes just to make sure they have enough water and they're staying cool in these hot temperatures. Is this the hottest that you guys have shown? Um, or have there been? Probably been a few times that it's been hotter, but this is still up there. I mean, the humidity is the worst thing. I mean, you can only push so much air, but the humidity doesn't go away too easy. Yeah. But. And I know that's a big thing. Basically, you guys have been taking care of these animals from the time that they were. What do you call them, babies, or? Some of them, like, she raises her goats, a few of them when they're born, and then basically just like feeders, like they're small size, right when they're weaned from their mothers. And then, of course, Monday is a big day when you basically sell them off. Yeah. Yep, that registration or whatever, you get your bidder number at 11.30. There's a buyer's lunch, and then the auction starts at 1, and that's at the fairgrounds. Okay. Josie, how do you feel about um, being able to, um, to sell off your animals that you work so hard to raise and care for? Um, I think that I get to show that I've put the work into it and that a lot of people don't get that chance to have animals and choke animals. Have you been showing since you were little? I've been showing since I was four and this is my final year in 4-H. Oh, four years old? Yep, oh, I've been goodness. showing bucket calves since I can remember. And this is my final year, so this is my last county fair that I'll be able to show it, but I'll still come back and help out with it and help the youth. I've been around cattle since I was a baby because my siblings have shown, but I've probably been showing bucket calves since I was four, and then this will be my fourth year in Fort. Oh, wow. Okay. So you guys really must enjoy it then. Yeah, if I eat, sleep, and drink it, I love livestock and the agricultural industry. Perfect. All right, mm -hmm. guys. Thank you so much for joining me, and good luck this year. I know that the state fair is the is what you guys are shooting yep. for. So thank you. Of course. And uh, here's what's happening on Wall Street.